Hey now everyone, it's Steve Seavers for Bionic Buzz. We're here at the world famous San Diego Comic Con. It feels so good to be back. Now before we get started, we appreciate your support. Please hit that subscribe button, give this video a thumbs up, and follow us on all social media. Now let's go see who we can talk to. So tell us how the story of how getting this documentary together. Yeah. Well, uh, I had been a fan of, of uh, The Secret City back in 1985, and I kind of uh, grew up learning how to draw from Mark Kistler. And I had almost forgotten about the show and was digging through some old boxes uh, back in my old old home back in the East Coast. And I unearthed my, you know, Mark Kistler drawing pad and eradicator and, you know, a special art kit that, that I that I cherished uh, back in uh, back in the old days. And I thought, oh, my gosh, this is this is just inspired me so much to to try to get a project out there that would would help bolster um, what I feel was a really important part of, of millions of, of people's uh, lives back in, in the 80s. Oh, and I thought it would just be fun to, to remind everybody about that and possibly explore the, the future of The Secret City and Mark Kistler. Um, it's kind of like a wellspring of creativity in my eyes, and there, there's it's just a whole universe to explore. It just needs to be polished up. <laughs> and where are the East Coast? Did you uh, the D.C. area. Oh, uh, yeah, right. it was broadcast there on PBS, like every day after Mr. Rogers yeah, and Sesame no, Street. Yeah, I grew up in Maryland. Oh, did so you? Nice. Really? Well, okay. I used to watch it on PBS, too. So. Oh, okay, good. <laughs> yeah, it's interesting because cause the Secret City, a lot, some people have forgotten about it, but yeah. it's like deep in the memory of, of many Americans because a, a lot of cities around the country, he was on like every single day. So mm. um, when they see him at the comic book convention, you just see people's uh, welling up with tears in their eyes to see him, almost like they're seeing a long lost relative or something. Yeah. So it's been a really moving experience to premiere here at Comic Con. Yeah, absolutely. Let's talk about that. You got, obviously, premiered at part of the film festival. You had a kickoff party last night that was a lot of fun at the Hard Rock. Yeah. You know, what does it mean to you to be here? I mean, San Diego Comic Con is the place, you know? Yeah, I mean, uh, San Diego Comic Con is the largest event of its type in the whole world. It's the first one where it all began. So, uh, and Mark's been on the Comic Con circuit for probably like 30 years or more. So he's a real old school, uh, tried and true Comic Con veteran. So we found, we felt that Com San Diego Comic Con was a perfect um, platform to premiere this project to the world. All right, so it's premiering here. Is it trying to hit the film festival circuit yet, or two to be determined? Yeah, we're we're gonna do a few festivals. Um, we're probably we, we may expand out to other Comic Con uh, Comic Cons around the world, um, and it will be released probably sometime this year. But I would say it's coming soon. And just to keep your eyes on uh, Corgan Pictures social media or Mark Kistler, uh, MarkKistler.com social media. How does it feel to be here? I mean, oh, it's really here. it's it's really kind of surreal. Mm -hmm. uh, surreal that any kind of Comic Con is a little surreal. Yeah. Um, and so there's all these figures dressed up of moving around plus this is such a dream come true for mark and to have to have you know 40 years ago we we created this or he created it and i was just along for the adventure which was an adventure it was fun so it's sort of it's still surreal that we're kind of you know looking back at it and it's really wild to see some of the footage the old footage from the original Secret City and yeah, you know I, I was at the party last night and they okay, showed a little okay. bit of it but I grew up in Maryland so I remember it though. okay great yeah, you know, great so. well, I think, fond memories from that time period? oh my you goodness know? uh yeah it was just neat bonding with Mark he was this 20 year old surfer guy from California <laughs> You know, and I was about 10 years older, and you know, so we kind of, our relationship became like big brother and little brother, you know, and uh, it was a really nice time, and just and just a, a lot of fun, actually, just a lot of fun. And the, and the more we got comfortable with it and, and began to play with it and yeah. improvise, you know, and then kind of go with our own ideas, because we did like 64 episodes, I think. Mm -hmm. So by that time, you know, we got to really understand how the cameras worked, and because he had, you know, he was, a, he was, a, he's an artist, visual artist. He, he was new to like the world of, oh uh, yeah, you know. I didn't even think I, about that. Oh, think, you know? oh yeah, the, but he, he quickly, quickly, quickly caught on, and uh, and I, I'm mostly a, a stage actor, or, you know, and. Uh, so it was a very, very kind of different experience. The biggest thing I'll tell you is the fact that I'm used to having people interact with the audience. You know, oh yeah, you could do that. TV there was like well, that. Yeah. no, I had no idea of what I was projecting as far as the yeah. character. Yeah. You know, and uh, yeah, so that was that was a real interesting experience. So. Mm -hmm. So I, I did learn a lot. I got more comfortable and learned how to work with cameras and learn to. It was live shooting. They didn't want to stop, so I would just 
go with it, you know? Cool. And yeah, so it was a wonderful experience. So uh, what have you been up to now lately? Why can I, I mean, are you doing anything where people can follow you on social media or anything like that? Uh, I do a lot of unusual things. I don't do very much traditional theater. Uh -huh. uh, right now I'm, I'm in, a, in a kind of a, a, a workshop that hopefully will go to off-Broadway. Oh, awesome. Yeah, and um, I'm not sure if I'm allowed to say it yet. So, but yes, it's called, yeah, I can say it It's called uh, Love's Afoot, which is sort of uh, uh, the, the uh, Singing in the Rain meets John Waters. So it's a little, it's a little bit absurd. It's about fetishes, and it's, but it's that very, very, it's very funny. I don't yeah. do real traditional things. No, no. that's boring. You know? Very boring. So, yeah. so, cool. Well, yeah. are you on social media? People can follow you, see what um, you're up to? They can follow me under Metamorphosis. Mm -hmm. Okay, that's the name of my theater company. Awesome. And, uh, or just Joel Gorey. Mm -hmm. They can follow me. And, uh, yeah, I do really bizarre. I don't do traditional things. You know, I create events in parks and with large puppets and and also some political things. So, yeah. But doing a documentary was really neat, and I just really appreciate how they put all of his story, Mark's story, together and made, made sense out of it. Mm -hmm. And... And I learned a, a lot of stuff about Mark that I didn't know. Kind of like know. a time capsule, I kind of feel like. So yeah, it really future is. Future generations can learn. You know? Yes, yeah. So. Well, awesome. Congratulations, well, thank my you friend. very much. Okay. We had so much fun. We the did post, have so much the fun. The post-premiere party at the, uh, ce the celebration, the secret celebration, mm -hmm. is so great. We had a world premiere at 2 o'clock yesterday at the San Diego Comic Con. I was so thrilled. I was I was hoping since this year long project with mm -hmm. Jason Brown from Cork and Pictures. He yeah. did an amazing job. And he and I were talking for a year about what would be my favorite, you know, venue to, to have the premiere. And I said, Cannes Film Festival or really San Diego Comic Con. Because yeah. that's I grew up here. I was one of really? the first uh, you know, first attendees or supporters. I you know, I was a cartoonist with way back in the eighty eight. 1988. So uh, they they selected our show, our movie, to be uh, premiered here, That's and I was just I just mean, tickled pink. It was great. And home, I grew up in San Diego, so it's being here back at San Diego State. So we had the the premiere at two o'clock, and then we had the celebration. It's just so fun. fun. And then we're having our own uh, little yeah. screening for the folks who uh, didn't make it to the uh, Comic Con uh, premiere. So this is a wonderful friends and family. I've got my yeah. sisters and my brother here, and my uh, dear friends, so it's going to be uh, really, really wonderful. Awesome. Well, here at Bonic Buzz, we're all about people's passion. Where did your passion to be an artist kind of come from? Was it something that inspired you as a kid or something that was just natural for you? I, I've always just been loved to draw. Mm -hmm. I, I mean, and I tell them, my students, um, yeah. that with their passion and their imagination, they can make their dreams come true. You just, you just, you know, you had to discover what it is you love to do. Mine was drawing since I was in kindergarten. Mm -hmm. My mom says I used to draw in the air and draw in the, the you know, the sand and the mud and, and the high chair when I was a baby. Uh -huh. um, you know, I just have, all, my whole life I've loved to draw. And I uh, love to draw almost as much as I love to teach. Uh -huh. I started doing after school uh, how to draw classes, which you'll you, you'll, you'll see in the yeah, movie. Yeah, I, I uh, saw the, it on PBS before I grew up. Uh, was, yes, I was uh, 15. I started up in Carlsbad, just a half oh, hour. Hey. Carlsbad was my very first drawing class after school, um, my parks and recreation classes, and that grew into. Uh, by the time I turned 21, we did a, the national PBS show out of Maryland Public Television, The Secret City. Uh, mm -hmm. We got to millions of uh, kids on my 21st birthday. That was very exciting. Then we did the Imagination, or uh, the Draw Squad series. Yeah. That was uh, in the uh, or 90s. And then uh, we went on to do the Imagination Station series, over 100 episodes. And we actually won the Emmy for that one. Oh, wow. <laughs> you know, that's, that's really cool. So uh, it's been a wonderful, wonderful ride. And it's all been because of my passion for drawing, my passion for teaching, and hopefully to uh, inspire your viewers yes. and inspire all you artists out there, all you creative thinkers, to discover what it is you love to do, okay? Just find out what it is, and it, I always define it as something that you want to do for your career that you'd pay people to do it, even, mm -hmm. you know, just 
like you, you're, you're obviously very passionate about webcasting and doing yeah, what you, I can see it. It's just, it, people love to be around a dreamer and a mm. believer and I can feel it and it gets me inspired so that I want to talk more about it. Yeah. And it just, it's like the self-perpetuating success will. We all help each other out to mm. reach our dreams. Cool, well, thank you so much for taking the time to talk to me. Congratulations on the premiere here. Well, thank you.